Hello everyone, this is Atodala Dhan Babu, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Aeronautical Engineering and I am dealing with the course Computational Aerodynamics and in this topic we will see the problem solving or case studies for the module 2 so which is uh, mathematical behavior of the partial differential equation so in the previous session we have seen the problematic uh, case and the case studies for the module 1 which is introduction so we have discussed about uh, the change of conservative form to non conservative form of continuity equation. So, with the help of uh, control volume, uh, which is fixed in space. So, we have seen especially what are the types of control volume. So, in that, uh, which control volume is stationary, which control volume is moving, and what is the significance of uh, both of the, these aspects we have seen. And uh, after seeing that, we have derived a, a continuity equation. So, for a control volume which is uh, stationary, and then we have extended it to control volume which is moving with space. So, we have also stated that uh, the control volume which is stationary, the equations which we derive are conservative form of equations, and the control volume which is moving. So, we had uh, given information that it is non conservative form. So, with this aspect, uh, we will uh, continue with the second module of uh, mathematical behavior of PDE. So, where uh, the majority of uh, this module will deal with the classification of the PDE and uh, then after, like, how do we justify uh, the equations are classified to parabolic, elliptic or hyperbolic. So, uh, in the problematic uh, like uh, solving, so we need to justify how uh, the elliptic equations are uh, classified or let us say how it how you can justify a given equation is elliptic equation and uh, then after uh, you need to justify how uh, the equation is parabolic and then we need to justify how the equation is hyperbolic. So, by this aspect, uh, we will do the problematic uh, cases. Okay. So, the problem which we are going to deal is, uh, we will take a Laplace equation. So, which is uh, dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square is equal to 0. So, this is one equation. So, for this equation, we need to calculate. So, whether uh, this is uh, elliptic, hyperbolic or parabolic. So, this is one form. So, this is Laplace equation. Next, uh, we will see the diffusion equation. So, phi by dou t plus alpha dou square phi by dou x square is equal to 0. So, we, we need to justify what type of equation it is. We need to calculate. So, since we are dealing with the problematic cases, we need to calculate. So, how do we calculate and uh, how do we get the values we will see. So, this is one equation. And the third equation what we deal is, so we will deal with the uh, wave equation. So, which is of uh, dou square phi by dou t square plus some or minus some constant c square into dou square phi by dou x square is equal to 0. So, we need to see these three equations. So, uh, out of these three equations, which one will go for elliptic, next uh, hyperbolic and parabolic. hyperbolic, elliptic, okay. So, these three we will evaluate using these three equations. So, first uh, what is happening actually, so the first equation we call it as a Laplace equation. So, for this equation when we use any source term, let us say you have if equal to 0, this is called homogeneous equation. So, when you have any other term, 
so that is let's say g or any other source term if you have the right hand side so then we say it is non homogeneous equation so here uh, this is the 1d diffusion equation and this is 1d uh, wave equation actually so we will uh, calculate and we will get to know so uh, how we will uh, classify them into one of these elliptic hyperbolic and parabolic so before that uh, let us see how do we calculate so how do we classify so the generalized formulation we have to recall after recalling the generalization formulation we will calculate uh, for these equations so how uh, like uh, these will fall in elliptic uh, parabolic or hyperbolic case okay so uh, to do that uh, we will actually take a second order uh, generalized pde equation so which is of a of do square phi by do x square plus or sorry you can take do square f by do x square next b into do square f by do x do y plus c into do square f by do y square plus d into do f by do x plus e into do f by do y plus you can uh, take it as some g okay so is equal to some h constant you can take any so this is the equation which we see here is the generalized second order partial differential equation so using this uh, we will actually take the standard formulation of uh, classification of pd so we have this and uh, one more thing so we have so exact differential which is du for du we will write the chain rule so which is uh, do u by uh, do x into dx plus uh, do u by do y into dy so this is what we have similarly we have so can take it as f sorry next we have uh, dv so which is of since we are dealing with 2d so we will deal with uh, u and v next uh, we will take do v by do x into dx plus uh, do v by do y into dy so this is second equation this is third equation so when we apply the cramer's rule method for these three equation and uh, when we are trying to evaluate do square by like uh, do x do y term when you want to evaluate this do square by do x term so we will actually get some terminology called mod of b by mod of a so let's say this a is a matrix so which is having the coefficients of these equations so which is this one do square f by do x square so these coefficients will be available so here also you can see these coefficients are available so here so what is happening actually so actually this is u of x so this is u by okay so here what is happening actually so we will collect all the similar coefficients so similar coefficient is do square by do x square coefficient do square x by do x do y do uh, like uh, do square by do y square so these coefficients we will actually make or we will collect in matrix form and uh, then we say it as coefficient matrix a okay so when we make that uh, mod a equal to 0 what happens so this is called singular okay so when we get this so ultimately so we will form an equation in which so we have a into do y by sorry dy by dx square minus b dy by dx so plus 
c equal to 0. So, in this form we have actually, so we will get, we will get in this form when you rearrange, so when we do this aspect. So, from this, so if you want to get uh, dy by dx, so we will have the equation we know, so minus b plus or minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, this is the formulation which we have. So, for this formulation, we will apply uh, the values. So, we have seen the equations and uh, similarly we can relate uh, this equation with the second order PDE. So, where we have a into dou square f by dou x square plus b into dou square f by dou x dou y plus c into dou square f by dou y square is equal to 0. So, we will take this. So, we will actually equate with this standard formulation. So, either you can take this or take this one. So, this one is okay. This one is also okay. So, this is how we cal or we will see the discrimination or we will see the classification of PDs. Okay. So, uh, from this, so we have a standard formulation. What is the standard formulation we have? So, we say that the discriminant b square minus 4 into a into c. So, this b square minus 4 into a into c, if it is equal to 0, then we say it is parabolic. If we have b square minus 4ac less than 0, so then we say it is elliptic. So when we say b square minus 4ac which is greater than 0, we say it is hyperbolic. Okay, so these are the classifications we have. So, what we do? So, we will actually, when we are solving a particular equation, so we will write down that particular equation and uh, we will have to see what is the value of p, what is the value of a, what is the value of c. Okay, so we will see what is the value of b, what is the value of a, and what is the value of c. Okay, so what was our first equation? It's a Laplace equation. So, we have dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square is equal to 0. So, this is what we have. Okay. So, here this equation we need to do it. Okay. So, we will compare. So, we will write down the equation which is dou square a into dou square f by dou x square plus b into dou square f by dou x dou y plus c into dou square f by dou y square is equal to 0. So, this is what we have. So, a into dou square f by dou x square, b into dou square f by dou x dou y plus c into dou square f by dou y square is equal to 0. So, this is what we have. So, for this equation, so we will, so let us take this is our so, this is our problem which we need to solve. For this problem, we will equate with the generalized equation. So, this one and we will get the values of A, B and C. So, from this, what is the value of A? So, the value of A is equal to 1 when we compare. So, B is equal to 0 and C is equal to 1. So, which in turn when we substitute in this formulation, which is b square minus 4 into a into c. So, what happens actually? So, 0 square minus 4 into 1 into 1. So, which is equal to minus 4. So, this equation, so where uh, the discriminant has become less than 0. So, this is falling under elliptic. Okay. So, we can conclude that so, the Laplace equation which is dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by 
dou y square is equal to 0 is falling under the elliptic equation. Now, the second one. So, what is the second one which we saw? So, second one is the unsteady diffusion equation. So, where we have dou phi by dou t plus alpha into dou square phi by dou x square is equal to 0. So, this is what we have. So, here what is we having actually? So, compare. So, again we will write the equation a into dou square f by dou x square plus b into dou square f by dou x dou y plus c into dou square f by dou y square is equal to 0. So, we will take this equation and we compare. So, what happens actually? So, when you compare, what is the value of a in this context? So, a is 0. And what is the value of b? So, b is also 0. What is the value of c? c is equal to alpha. So, this is what we have. Okay, a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, c is equal to alpha. So, what is happening actually? So, we will write down the formulation which is b square minus 4 into a into c. So, when we write this formulation, what happens? So, the value of b is 0 minus 4 into 0 into alpha. So, this is 0. So, which in turn, what we can say this equation is parabolic. Okay. So, we have seen that uh, the equation is parabolic. Okay, the first equation, Laplace equation, which we saw, so which is coming under elliptic, and the second equation we are seeing the diffusion equation. So one day I'll show you diffusion equation, so which is coming under parabolic. And the third one, so we need to see, so which is um, the wave equation. The third one, so dou square phi by dou t square minus c square to dou square phi by dou x square is equal to 0. So, this is what we have. So, for this, so what we are doing? So, we are actually again we will equate. So, we will equate to a into dou square f by dou x square plus b into dou square f by dou x dou y plus c into dou square f by dou y square is equal to 0. So, this is what we have. So, when you equate what happens? So, the a value is becoming 1, b value is becoming 0, c value is becoming minus c square. So, this is what we have. a value is becoming 1, b value is becoming 0, c value is minus c square. We are equating. So, this is the generalized equation which we have. This is a problem which we need to solve, the third one. Okay. So, when we compare, so again we will write on the formula which is b square minus 4ac. So, which is, is equal to, so what is the value of b? It is 0 minus 4 into 1 into minus c square. So, what it has come, the answer is 4 c square. So, here uh, what we can say, so we can say that uh, the discriminant value is greater than 0 and it is coming under hyperbolic equation. Okay. So, this is hyperbolic equation. So, whatever the three problems or the three equations we saw, those three equations, so this from the formulation, we saw that uh, the first equation dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square, we calculated that this equal to 0 is coming under elliptic, where the discriminant value is less than 0. Okay. So, the second one, so dou square 
second one is do phi by do t plus alpha do square phi by do x square is equal to zero. So this one has come <coughs> parabolic. So where the d value is equal to zero. And the third one, so what we have? So we have do square phi by do x square minus c square. So this is t. Do square phi by do x square equal to zero. So this as hyperbolic. So where the discriminant value is greater than zero. So whatever the problem we have taken. So we have taken three equations, which is Laplace, another one is 1D unsteady diffusion equation, another one is the second order wave equation. So for these equations, we need to calculate. So what is the value of the discriminant? After calculating the value of discriminant uh, using the second order PDE methods, so we concluded that so the equation of, of elliptic is coming under sorry the equation of the Poisson equation or let's say Laplace equation is falling under elliptic mode so where the d value is less than zero and uh, then uh, you take one d unsteady diffusion equation so when we calculated the discriminator has come equal to zero so which is falling under parabolic then after we have seen uh, the second order wave equation where so the discriminant value is greater than zero so this is falling under hyperbolic equation okay so from this uh, like we have uh, seen the problematic uh, case of the module 2 so where uh, we have taken three equations and we have calculated using the standard uh, procedure of the classification of pde where uh, we have discussed about uh, elliptic parabolic and hyperbolic classifications so where uh, elliptic equation when the discriminant is less than zero so we stated already that uh, so uh, the equations have uh, unrealistic so basically the imaginary roots so when the roots are imaginary so the information is propagated throughout the domain and the domain of dependence and the range of influence will be everywhere so that is for elliptic equation and for the parabolic equation so the initialization is is very important so the it is called the initial value problem and the hyperbolic equation so the domain of dependence and range of influence is confined within certain zone so examples uh, we can take as uh, low mark numbers and the subsonic mark numbers or transonic or and other one is like hypersonic uh, mark numbers okay so with this uh, we conclude the problematic uh, case uh, for the model 2 thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates